Drew Brees is not a Hall of Famer. I mean, how can you? If you if somebody said that, you like if someone says that to you, you just go, you know what? It's not you don't even, even know what you're talking about. It's not even worth my time to talk to you. Yeah, because you are an idiot. I mean, obviously, you know, there's guys you can't argue for and against, but Drew Brees to me is not one of those dudes. Hall of Famer. How, good, how can you say he's not? Good job, Tampa Bay. Yeah. So I mean that, and I mean it was a shootout. It was like forty-eight, forty or something. I mean it was crazy high-scoring game. Exciting. Exciting. Just what the fans want to see. So who you got at three? Uh, number three, I got my Kansas City Chiefs at three. Mm. If I was more of a fanboy, I would have put them at number one. But I, I am a huge fanboy. Uh, I really, I'll say this uh, on a, uh, we'll say I'm going to keep it really positive because this is my hometown team, right? So yeah. on a positive note, uh, Mahomes has thrown touchdowns to six different receivers, six or seven, yeah, six or seven, right? The fullback has one on a wheel route, on a wheel yep. route, on a wheel route. What? Andy they, Reed. they have played really well. And the thing about it is, too, if you watch the games, Andy Reid. Does not have. I mean, uh, I don't think I've seen the clipboard in front of him. I don't think I've seen the play sheet in front of him. Uh, Bellamy's calling the plays. I think Reed has designed them all, probably with Bellamy's influence. And then Bellamy's running the offense, and that dude is doing an awesome job. Mahomes, uh, I agree with you on on the coaching job. This dude's been coached up because uh, really his only error coming into the NFL was his interceptions, and he has zero. He has none. Yeah. He had a game at Texas Tech where he threw six. He has mm-hmm. none because at Texas Tech it was, I don't know, throw it. It's, yeah. air, it's air raid, right? We yep. never run the ball. So the offense or the defense always knows you're throwing. And so you throw picks. You're going to throw picks. But dang, so the nice thing about the Chiefs is we haven't even seen the best from Kareem Hunt because he haven't had to yet. Basically, they've used Kareem Hunt as, hey, let's keep the defense honest. Let's run him. And Kareem Hunt's done that. Uh, but all these little plays, and Mahomes has the ability to convert on third down, third and long, which Alex Smith was not great at. Alex Smith did develop a really good deep ball last year. The third and long, the third and long, and they, they are way gutsy, and Mahomes has been picking it up. Another thing about Mahomes, too, that I'm on all the way is his release is really nice. Yeah. Smith didn't have that. So Smith, a lot of people would say our offensive line sucked last year. Offensive line's not blocking with Smith. If you time it out, Smith almost had the, like some of the – By the way, he's one-on-one in Washington. Yeah, I'm cool. So Alex I, Smith's doing fine, but his his he holds the ball way too long. Yeah. I think Mahomes he, does get it out quick. Mahomes but, again, partly is, is that of nice. his training – that he had prior to and when he was at Texas. Oh, yeah, air, air raids, like, it's... Get it out, get it out. Get it out get real it out. fast, because guess what, we're moving the ball, so... Uh, and I'll keep I'll keep it positive when I'm talking about the defense. I'm going to try. Uh, good enough so far? Good enough so far. Good enough so far. If, if you can hold teams to 30 or less, you're good. And then, and then uh, Eric Berry comes back in October. Uh, that's going to take the defense from being... Uh, not the greatest to middle tier for me. I m- maybe lower middle tier, which is good enough. I definitely feel like this defense is better than some of the Dick Vermeil defenses we saw. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, they do. So the the Chiefs defense is super risk reward, right? And re- yeah. and another reason they're giving up so many yards is because they're on the field a lot. And, and part of it, I mean, part of it too is is Andy Reid's system. I mean, you know, he he's won a lot of games in the NFL. Obviously, Philadelphia fans got tired of him. I mean, that's why he kind of got out of there. But, you know, he's a good coach. We, so, we talked about it last week. So, uh, I'm pretty sure our one and two are going to be the same. So, let's just go for the two. Uh, Jacksonville. Totally Jacksonville. I mean, they beat the Giants, which I think the Giants are going to be terrible uh, after watching them, especially against the Cowboys last week. You know, I'm a Cowboys fan, and some guys, Coach Hoover actually – when I came in Tuesday, it was like, hey, how about them Cowboys? And I was like, the Giants are terrible. So, why are they so, why, real quick, uh, we're talking about Jacksonville, but why are the Giants so terrible? Uh, they can't block anyone. And they should be able to, right? Yeah. Solder, Solder's a really good I mean, left tackle. He was a really good left you tackle. You saw there. Eli just running for his life basically against Dallas. And and I don't feel like – I mean, I, the Dallas pass rush is decent, but I don't feel like they're like, oh, my God. Like, you know, I don't know. I mean, they're my team. I love the Cowboys, but I I don't know. Just watching the Giants, I didn't feel like they were that good. Obviously, Jacksonville beating New England, that's a great freaking win. Is there anything about this Jacksonville? Okay, so the thing about Jacksonville used to be, well, they got Blake Bortles. So, they're in, you know, they're in trouble. This dude is playing He's really playing well. lights out. I got him on one of my fantasy teams. 
And I was mad I had him on the bench against New England. This dude this dude used to be the weakness. And all of a sudden... Because Fournette didn't even play. Uh, yeah. They started hit. So your top running back doesn't play. And, 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 and Yeldon's not... Yeldon's all right. Yeah. Right? And so all of a sudden you get Bortles in there. And he's killing it. And the defense, of course, showed up. Yeah, absolutely. And then, and then the number one team, obviously, we both agree here is the Dallas Cowboys. I, uh, I, I don't have. That's not my one. It's not your one. I mean, I'm sorry to tell what? you. What? I'm I mean, sorry. They're one on one. They beat I'm the freaking tell, Giants. I'm sorry to tell you, not, Dallas is not my number one. Okay. All right. All right. Well, who's your actual number one? My, my actual number one. Is I probably the agree with you. Los Angeles Rams. I have the LA Rams as my number one team. Is there okay? Now, we, so we said Jacksonville. Is there anything about the team you don't like? You see Bortles. Is there anything about the Rams you don't like? No, I mean we we talked about it preseason. Freaking Wade Phillips, great defensive coordinator. He's got two really good corners. He's got a big defensive tackle in the middle that requires the double team and can still beat it. So he can play a lot of man coverage, send a lot of blitzes. I mean and. On offense, you've got Gunslinger. You've got a great running back. You've got a good offensive line. I mean, what's the hole? So you thought – the crazy thing about it is, too, uh, Wade Phillips coached the Denver team that won the Super Bowl, right? Yeah. And Denver's offense was trash. They were trash. You go back and look at the numbers, it weren't – I mean, was, they, had a, they had a genius Manning, but his body couldn't do the things that he knew he needed to. He was still clutch. Like for some you know, some reason he mm-hmm. still can do clutch stuff, but like just really, like you look at his numbers, they're rough. And yeah. Osw- you know, Osweiler's rough too. So you have, you tell me, you have a Wade Phillips coach defense, which is either just as good a personnel as that Broncos team, or better, or even better, with an offense that is either is second best in the league as of right now, uh, second best in the league right now, I think. Right? Chiefs something, are one, like that, yeah. Rams are two, I believe. Right. I mean that's a recipe for this team. If they even play, if they play this good the rest of the year, they are going to win the Super Bowl. Yeah, for sure. It, I mean, I'm not saying they will, but if they play this well all year, I have, there's nothing bad I can say about the team. The coach is solid. The, who calls the offensive plays? McVay, yep, McVay. the defensive coordinator, Wade Phillips, who you love, I love. Every single thing about this team is the best. Yep. Now, I, I, you know, right now. But the thing is, they haven't had to, you know, you they get these big leads. Oh, uh, did you see the game? They went for two. They scored their first touchdown. They went for two. I love that. Sets a tone. It does. Says get, we're better than you, and we're going to prove it. And they got it. McVay's running up. I, I see I it. Love it. McVay's got the clipboard. He's running up and down, and they go for two. And they just and the and the team had enough time to prep and go. Uh, and they they got it. Gurley's Gurley's awesome. The receivers are awesome. Goff is playing really really well. So. Rams are number one. Rams are number one. Uh, I mean, obviously, I was joking about the Cowboys. They're not even in my top <laughs> ten, and I'm a Cowboys fan, so oh. I mean, I look for a way to put them in, but I can't. They, I can't. It's all good above, above any of these teams. I can't take any of my teams out. Uh, so, you know, hey, that, that's our list. That's our top ten NFL teams right now. Um, I mean, I'd say, you know, tweet at us your hate tweets at Midwest Mikes. On Facebook, let us know. If you think we're idiots, if you think we're smart, let us know. Um, my biggest surprise in college football, real quick, before we close out, is that Nebraska has not won a game. I am, I am, I have been wrong about yeah. Scott Frost. I mean, I still think he'll get, he'll get it, but I, 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 I was feeling like this dude was like, but at the same time, it's not his team yet. When I go I mean, back, when I go back, last year they won four games. Yeah, so and this year I'm still looking at them them winning six. Uh, I think I had them winning uh, eight. I think I had them winning eight. Yeah, so I'm taking that down to six. Um, and another thing is too Saturday they went without their starting quarterback, yeah. uh, Hernandez at the, or, or no, whatever his name is. Hernandez, I he, think, he was so. her, yeah. But uh, I mean, that, I'd say that's my biggest surprise right now is that they're zero and two. Yeah, yeah, biggest surprise zero and two. I I really want them. I mean, to, obviously, I, really want them, I wanted them to prove me right and win a game, please. Yeah. Um, I mean, are you surprised that Alabama's three and up? Yeah, I'm really surprised. <laughs> You're surprised Alabama has not zero and three. I right? can't believe it. Yeah. I can't believe Chip Kelly or Georgia. I can't believe Chip Kelly didn't have the number one offense in the NFL in, in, uh, uh, in the football. Oh yeah, wow. yeah, UCLA too. They're no, big, good, no, but. biggest surprise in Nebraska for sure. Yeah. So. so, all right. Well, hey guys, thanks for listening. Um, and you know, hey, let us know what you want to hear on the show, and if you want to be on, just. 
tweet us. Uh, you know, but definitely tweet out your top ten NFL teams right now, your power rankings. And if you tweet them to us or share them with us or whatever, uh, we'll retweet them, uh, send them out, and let everybody know what you think. And you know, you can argue your points whether you're right or wrong. That's right. So, uh, but hey, thanks for listening, and we will catch you guys next week. Thank you.